As Scorn stepped into the vast expanse of the Cerelios Desert, the sun hung high, an unrelenting sphere of fire in a cloudless sky. The desert stretched before him like a sea of gold, its dunes rolling endlessly towards the horizon. The heat was oppressive, a tangible weight upon his shoulders, and the sand underfoot shifted with every step, making progress laborious and slow. Scorn was acutely aware of the scarcity of his water supply, the precious liquid sloshing in the container at his side, a constant reminder of the desert's unforgiving nature. The isolation of the desert amplified Scorn's thoughts, allowing him to reflect deeply on his journey. Each step became not just a physical effort, but a psychological battle against the overwhelming sense of solitude. The endless expanse of sand mirrored the turmoil within him, the scale of his undertaking magnifying his fears and doubts. Yet, amidst this reflection, a fierce determination took root. Scorn understood that the survival of his mother and sister rested upon his shoulders, a burden he bore willingly, but not without cost. The desert, with its shifting sands and treacherous heat, seemed to distort time. Minutes stretched into hours, and the sun's slow descent towards the horizon felt like a race against time itself. Scorn's mind oscillated between the urgent need to press on and the pragmatic necessity to conserve his energy and resources. Each ration of water consumed was a calculated risk, a balance between immediate relief and long-term survival. The desert demanded a mental fortitude Scorn had never before had to muster, each decision a testament to his resolve. As the days passed, the relentless sun and the vast, empty landscape began to wear on Scorn's psyche. The desert's silence was deafening, a constant reminder of his isolation. Memories of his family, the dire situation he left behind, and the monstrous challenges he had already faced swirled in his mind, blurring into a whirlwind of motivation and fear. The desert, in its harsh, unyielding way, forced Scorn to confront his deepest insecurities and doubts, yet it was in this crucible of solitude and adversity that Scorn's character was tempered. He began to see the desert not just as a physical barrier to be crossed, but as a metaphor for the trials he had faced throughout his life. Each dune he crested, each step he took, was a victory over the despair that threatened to engulf him. The intense heat, the scarcity of water, and the vastness of the desert became symbols of the obstacles he had overcome and those he had yet to face. In the silence of the desert, Scorn found a resilience he did not know he possessed, a strength forged in the depths of his love for his family and his determination to save them. As Scorn trudged through the sand, he realized that the desert, for all its hostility, was teaching him about the nature of hope and the importance of perseverance. The mirages on the horizon, those illusions of water and salvation, served as poignant reminders of the elusive nature of hope, how it can seem so near yet remain just out of reach. But Scorn also understood that, like the mirages, hope was a necessary illusion, one that spurred him forward, driving him to push beyond the limits of his endurance. But one mirage caught Scorn's attention more than the rest. He saw in front of him a massive head in the distance with pale skin and oddly textured gold eyes. He felt pulled by the being in front of him, but kept going anyway, telling himself it's just a mirage. The Cerelios Desert, with its brutal climate and unforgiving terrain, was the ultimate test of Scorn's resolve. It stripped away the external distractions, leaving him to confront the essence of his quest. The desert's vastness, rather than diminishing him, magnified his purpose, focusing his will on the singular goal that had propelled him into this desolate wilderness, to reach the Lake of Tears and secure the salvation of his loved ones. As Scorn finally saw the end of the desert on the horizon, a sense of accomplishment flooded through him. 
he had survived the Cerelios Desert, not just physically, but spiritually. The desert had refined him, burning away all that was unnecessary and leaving behind a man who understood the true value of perseverance, hope, and the indomitable human spirit. With the desert behind him, Scorn looked towards the remaining journey with a renewed sense of purpose and a deepened resolve to complete his quest, no matter what challenges lay ahead. Please like and subscribe to see more stories of Scorn and other stories on my channel.